Cape Town's neighborhoods will blow your mind. Have you ever lived in Cape Town? Have you ever visited Cape Town and actually enjoyed the pleasure of being in Cape Town, having a holiday here and meeting the people? I hear a lot of people around the rest of the country say, ah, Cape Townians are clicky and the weather's terrible there, the wind will blow you away. But when you live here, you realize that that's all BS and it's actually a fine place to be, a beautiful place to, play, to, to live. People are friendly, everyone likes everyone. Well, you get the odd arsehole, but most of the time, we're good people, man. But there's a lot of rich people living in Cape Town and have you seen some of the areas in Cape Town? Some of the areas in Cape Town are absolutely immense and some of the houses, the houses that people own are stunning and beautiful and you have to ask yourself, where the hell do people get the money to pay for these beautiful homes in Cape Town? It's, it's, it's crazy. It makes Johannesburg look cheap in comparison, some of these areas. I mean, you've got some expensive areas in Joburg, admittedly. You've got some expensive areas in Pretoria, admittedly. But your expensive areas up there are our cheap areas down here because property in Cape Town is hugely expensive. But on the flip side, some of these houses are stunningly beautiful. They're not ugly homes. I mean, these are nice, beautiful homes. Let's start by looking at the home in Buckhoven. I'll talk to you about a few areas, but this home in Buckhoven is 32 million rand. How much is that in dollars? I think it's about oh, one and a half million dollars or something to that effect, or maybe a little bit more, maybe about two million dollars. So I don't know how that relates to you guys in the US or in pounds, uh, it's about the same. 32 million rand for this house in Bakuoban, but it's a beautiful place to live. It's just off Camps Bay. Camps Bay is a very, very, very famous place to live as well. And we've got this beautiful place in Camps Bay, which is 22 million rand. If you look at this house, also really stunning, beautiful place. Now, Camps Bay is one of the older rich areas. Everybody always wanted to live in Camps Bay. If you spoke to anyone who was moving to Cape Town or anyone who was coming down this way in the old days from Doria, Joburg, Durban, whatever, they would talk about living in Camps Bay. But if you move down there from now, you've got to be a really rich person to be able to afford to actually live in Camps Bay. Camps Bay is just above Buckworm and it's just on the little mountain, looks down over the sea. And really guys, to, to live there, I mean, your rates and taxes are through the roof in the first place. So if you're planning on living in a place like Camps Bay, make sure you've got a rather huge bank account. But there are a lot of people living in this area. It's a stunning little area, small streets, very, very tight community. I suppose it's a, a lot of businessmen and there's been a lot of people there. It's still people moving in there and still spending the money. But what's the more expensive area? What's more expensive than Camps Bay? Well, Clifton. Clifton goes way back as one of the most expensive areas in Cape Town. It's absolutely crazy. People that live in Clifton, this house is 79 million rand. Imagine that. And the average price around there is like 50, 60 million rand. Whereas in Camps Bay, you can still pick up a place for 15 mil. I suppose Buckwoman about 20 mil. But in Clifton, you're always going to pay 40, 50, 60 million rand. This one's 79 million rand. So it's a really expensive area, but probably Probably because it's high up on the hill overlooking everything and the houses there are absolutely stunning massively designed for luxury that perfect home for the big rich CEO I'm actually asking the question are all these rich people moving to Cape Town and moving into these houses or have they always been here because all the business has always been in Joburg and Pretoria yet Cape Town has got the most expensive property and the most expensive areas with these people living in these big 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 places so I sometimes ask the question as, how does that happen? Why are all the expensive houses here? But anyway, Clifton, expensive area, beautiful area. And if you're rich, I'm sure you could come and live in Clifton. It's fantastic. And then if you can't afford all these beautiful areas, you could go to Seapoint and you could get a flat for four or five million, whatever. But this flat is 32 million rand because it's on the beach or it's close to the beach or it's down at the bottom. Some of the apartments, what they actually did with some of the apartments in Seapoint is they actually took two or three apartments and from the old days and joined them together and made them into one apartment. So almost like a penthouse, but you know, it's within the block. So you turn a small flat into a massive big mansion within inside a block of flats. And 
this has happened all over the Seapoint area and Greenpoint and that sort of thing. There's a few new blocks that have come up, but I mean, this particular flat is not that great and it's 32 million. But there are a few apartments around there. There are a few places around there that you can still get for around the 5 million. Imagine that. You're in Brits and you sell a farm for 4 or 5 million rand. You come down to Seapoint and you can basically buy a two-bedroom flat. It's wow it's crazy isn't it absolutely nuts but that's how it is guys but you know the best kept secret in cape town is actually blowberg blowberg table view area in blowberg you can still get a house at a reasonable price this is an area that's on the beach it's on the west coast well about 10 years ago there wasn't much here but now it's got everything it's got all the malls it's got all the petrol state and there's a lot of people moving down here because when they were coming down here this area was the most affordable area around this house is seven million rand seven mil is is quite a high amount in in blowberg you can get for 15 20 etc but the average price in in blowberg is around three million rand you can still get for two and a half if you're lucky or a flat for two but mostly three million four million five million those are the average prices around here that one i've shown you now is seven million rand but that's a beautiful home and if you go down to the beach you can double that price 14 15 mil but blowberg is actually one of the most affordable areas on the beach for that sort of thing because even if you go to durbanville uh, which is inland closer to uh, belleville and closer to Paul and those areas are closer to the airport those areas are not that much cheaper it's about the same price so if you can pick up a home in a beach town like Bloberg with a bunch of really nice people it's actually a wonderful place to live it's a great area it's got everything you need like I say it's growing 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 getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger I mean I have visited towns like Strand and I have visited towns like Gordon's Bay Strand not that great Gordon's Bay is beautiful Hermanus beautiful place but more like a holiday town and that sort of sort of type of people whereas Bloberg's more like a, a suburb of homes where people live now the other thing you have to understand about these areas is they're all safe nobody has to worry about alarms nobody has to worry about security gates and fences and all that like you do in Pretoria and Joburg and Durban you don't have to live in a fortress you don't have to live in an estate when you come to Cape Town you're actually perfectly safe in the suburbs all the crime happens in the dodgy areas there are a few dodgy areas out there that you have to deal with but that's like anywhere in the world there's always a slum or a dodgy area somewhere where you have to put up with murder and crime and but the suburbs here are well looked after well maintained the roads all work the road the traffic lights all work the shops are all great most of the places you you're perfectly safe the safety security big thing really important that's what makes the properties more expensive than up north i think is it's got a lot to do with being secure and in a secure environment that you can relax in and enjoy almost sleep with your front door open perhaps the important thing is in cape town you don't get shot for your cell phone you don't get shot for or something like that if you're gonna get robbed you probably get robbed at knife point or they'll break your window and take your stuff where you're gonna get shot is if you go into the drug dealing lands and you get involved in the gangs then obviously you're going to get shot if you can throw up, have some coffee Ooh. You can expect that if you're in those dodgy areas. Unlike Pretoria or Joburg, where you're walking in the street and they pull a gun on you and shoot you and then take whatever you've got. At least here in Cape Town, if you get robbed, it's like anywhere else in the world. You get mugged, you know, and that, that's it. End of story. You can get over it and you're still alive and you're not full of bullet holes or anything to that effect. You don't have to carry a gun around with you. You don't have to worry about your wife walking around in the streets or your kids or whatever the case. They can actually walk in the streets. If your kids walk to the shops here, yeah, both of you safe if kids walk to the shops from victoria and joburg pretty tricky pretty dangerous and you sit there stressing and wondering if they'll ever come home so that's a little bit about the rich areas in cape town the suburbs in cape town there's a lot more suburbs i mean there's all the way out at stellenbosch and there's all the way out in simonstown and there's all the way out and, and all these different strand and all these lovely places but i'm just talking about the more wealthy areas closer to the town people want to you know the closer to town you are down here the more expensive it is can live in town town is is also about four five to ten million and you don't really get houses mostly apartments but most of the really modified apartments are down closer to the to the vla waterfront and the seapoint areas so guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the video we'll see what happens next week maybe we'll get back into a more controversial video again till next time cheers thanks and don't forget to watch the last video bye